it's quarter to three and it's time to get up today is monday and i'm just going to go through the day leaving home on a monday prepared to stay up till friday i pack everything the night before apart from my food which needs to stay fresh in the fridge until the morning then i make a cup of for me to take with me a cup of for now and one for ryan my better half who will probably end up drinking it cold then I straighten my hair, which is the only time in the week that I actually straighten my hair. And then I cleanse my face, brush my teeth, go to the loo and do all those other things that make me feel fresh for a Monday. And then I say goodbye to my Ryan. Sometimes he will wake up properly, but not this morning. I then get the car packed up and it's ready to go. It takes me about 40 minutes to get to work for my house. My boss and his son Bobby tipped my trailer on Saturday, so I wasn't sure where it's parked, but I spot it straight away. I open up and then I just need to get all of my stuff in ready for the week. Food, clothes, water and bedding. And then I can park the car up. Once that's done, I can make my bed and put all my food away in the fridge and the cupboards ready for the week ahead. I got some treats from Truck Junkie this weekend, so I put my air freshener up and I'm also wearing the hoodie. I get literally all my truck styling stuff from Truck Junkie. Then once all the life admin is done, I can put my card in and get to work. I get out and do my daily checks and I'm quite pleased with how clean the truck looks although I'm pretty sure it won't stay clean that long this time of year. I am just filling out my paperwork now because I have a load from Portland um, over to, where am I going with it? Selby. I've never been there before so that's new and Portland open at six o'clock so I am going to head over there hopefully get there around six and then I can hopefully get loaded very quickly and up to Selby. I don't actually know what I've got after this I'm all I know is I'm going up to Selby so that could mean that I could go anywhere after that. I should make it up there Today and hopefully tip today which is why I wanted to start early it's always good to try and keep it up all week of starting early and then hopefully by Friday you're starting early and finishing early and like you know if you if you start at 8 o'clock you're you've got until possibly 11 o'clock on a Friday which you know you don't really want to do so I just fill out my defect book. Mondays are always hard because you are possibly going to do a 15 hour day and then you've got all the stuff before you contend with. You've got to prepare yourself for like the week. It is everything done so now I can head towards Portland. Right, here we go. New off in his new lorry, fresh out today. So this is Neil's brand new truck and because he's been with the company for 20 years, they even got him his own personalised number plate. So it's NC for Neil Conway and 20 for his years of service. Definitely not his age. And then it's off down to Portland. Someone asked on my last video if we go through Bridport and here we are. Luckily, the sun starts to come up just as we head out to the beautiful Isle of Portland. I've arrived at Portland and it's been a very, very windy trip over here. Uh, the weather seems to be sort of hurricane weather today for some reason. I've got here and there was six lorries in front of me already. So really, I could have probably done with being a quarter of an hour earlier and I might be a bit sooner in the queue. and. There is one loader here. 
so I've got to wait for all those six lorries to be loaded before I get loaded, which is fine. Um, I just make a cup of tea and just wait for a bit. They don't take too long to load in here anyway, so I shouldn't be here too long. And um, apparently there's a couple of lads that are, they're still waiting to come in, so they might get in and it'll speed the whole process up even faster. Well, that wasn't too bad in the end. I only had to wait 20 minutes to get loaded. And we're loaded in no time. Sheet on and back onto the Weybridge. As I'm leaving, one of my colleagues flags me down as he wants to know where I'm going because he thinks that he might be going to the same place. Oh, help me. I'm all loaded, I'm ready to go. And then somebody said, oh, by the way, Gemma, you have a brake light out. Great, so I'm gonna go and see if I can sort it out. And I need to get my famous... Oh dear. So I've got my tool bucket, which I won't probably need hardly any of it, I just need a screwdriver. This is a really simple job. Four screws, take the lens off, change the bulb and put the lens back on. I could not have asked for a better setting to do this in. So I'm going to go in, press my brake pedal and then the camera is going to tell me. And yes, it works, so I can screw the lens back on. Well, thank God that's sorted. It's all fixed because I didn't want to be running all that way without a brake light. And we're off. After leaving Portland, I pull into the first fuel station I come across as I'm running really low on diesel. I have a little wait for the pump, but luckily not too long. At this point, I've only done about two hours driving and already the truck is really dirty. And then I get as far as I possibly can in my first four and a half hours legally allowed driving time. So it's 10 o'clock now and I've run out of driving time and I'm up on my six hours. I've parked up in a lay-by and I'm just going to have some porridge. There's a lot to do on a Monday morning so I do struggle with my tiredness a bit. So I'm going to have a little nap. I'll just have a quick check on the map just to make sure that I know where I'm going. It should be about three and a half hours from here. So I should do it in one go. Well, I must say the A34 in a lay-by is not the best place to have a nap in the world at 10 o'clock, but I do feel a bit more refreshed and ready to go. I head up the A34 until I get to the M40 and then I head up the M40 for one junction before picking up the A43 to take me over to the M1. On the 43 I spot my colleague up ahead that was loading in Portland at the same time as me. He is heading in a similar direction but not to the same place. Once we get onto the M1 I manage to overtake him. As we go up a bit further I'm really glad that I'm not going in the opposite direction. After almost 100 miles on the M1, I pick up the M18 to take me up to Selby. The feed mill wasn't too hard to find and I get myself weighed in and find out what I need to do to go and tip. I'm not sure if I've parked myself in the right place, but it's kind of made it easier for me to semicircle reverse round onto the pit as there seems to be a queue formed here for some reason.
once I'm on the pit, I can then start tipping my sunflower. I'm here now in the mill at Selby. I've weighed in. I've, <laughs> I've managed to navigate their way of doing things and now I'm on the pit and tipping. I've never been here before, so everywhere's different and it's really hard sometimes to find out or work out how they like things done and I've tipped at the same uh, the same company at different places and they all do things differently so yeah <laughs> I got there in the end I am now tipping so that's great I just need to find out now what I'm doing next Hello. Hello, all right? All right, Yeah, I am tipping up in Selby. Yeah, tipping up in Selby. That's not true. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's very 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 nice. Yeah, it's and I'm just going to work out whether I can actually get there today and get loaded or not, which I don't think I can. Or I'm guessing I can because it's aggregate and it's, I think it's about half past three now. So normally quarry shut by four, half four. So I'm guessing that I won't be able to, but I'm going to try anyway. So I found out that the place I'm collecting from closes at half past four and it's over an hour away. Plus, I would need to have half an hour break before I got there. So, I am going to have to find somewhere to park up for the night. So I make the decision to move on to a suitable parking spot that uses up a decent amount of driving time but doesn't screw me over for the rest of the week. So it's onwards towards Scumfort where I'm loading tomorrow. As Mondays go, this has been a good Monday. I'm pleased with this. I can start about quarter past four, like I did this morning. I'll leave about half past four, be down there for five, and I haven't lost any time. And tonight I will get my 11 off. I've parked up under a 13 hour day and eight minutes off of a nine hour drive. So actually I've had a really good day for a Monday and it sets me up well for the rest of the week. I can still start early tomorrow and yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. Well, that's that, so I'm just gonna have some tea. Um, I've got homemade lasagna for tonight, so I'm gonna stick it in the microwave and have that for tea.